In this video, we'll learn how to find the point of intersection of two lines written in their vector equations. Now, we're given two lines here. We can see xy equals to 0, 3 plus alpha times the vector 1, negative 4, and the line with position vector xy equals to 3, 1 plus t times the vector 2, 2. Now, to find the point of intersection, the first thing we'll do is to write each of these two lines in their parametric form. So, for the first line, the line on the left here, that would be x equals to 0 plus alpha, and y equals to 3 minus 4 alpha. We can, of course, rewrite these two parametric equations as x equals to alpha, and y equals to 3 minus 4 alpha. So that's our first line equation. The second line, we can write its parametric equations as x equals to 3 plus 2t, and y equals to 1 plus 2t. And there we go. Now that we've done this, we're going to equate each of the two lines x and y coordinates, meaning to say we'll equate x equals to alpha with x equals to 3 plus 2t. We'll then equate y equals to 3 minus 4 alpha with y equals to 1 plus 2t. So let's go ahead and do that. So that leads us to alpha equals to 3 plus 2t, and the second equation, 3 minus 4 alpha equals to 1 plus 2t. And this is a pair of simultaneous equations that we now have to solve for alpha and t. So if we rearrange this a bit to make sure that the unknowns alpha and t appear on the left-hand side, we find alpha minus 2t equals to 3, and 4 alpha plus 2t equals to 2. These are the two equations. Now it's a good habit to pick up on to always name the equations, so I'm labeling them here E1 and E2, and the first thing I'll do is I'll add E1 to E2 in order to eliminate the t from the second equation. And I'm going to write what I do, so I'm going to write this. E2 becomes E2 plus E1. And I rewrite both equations. So the first equation is unchanged, that's E1. And the second equation becomes alpha plus 4 alpha, that's 5 alpha, negative 2t plus 2t, 0, equals to 3 plus 2, which is 5. That's my second equation, E2. And we can see right away here that this means that alpha is equal to 1. So replacing alpha by 1 in my first equation leads us to 1 minus 2t equals to 3. And my second equation is alpha equals to 1. Finally, rearranging the first equation. The first equation becomes 2t equals to negative 2. And alpha is still, of course, equal to 1. And now we can see that t is equal to negative 1 and alpha is equal to 1. So those are the values of alpha and t, the parameters inside our line equations. But to find the actual coordinates of the point of intersection, we need to replace either alpha by 1 in the first line equation, or t by negative 1 in the second line equation. Whichever one suits you, it doesn't matter. They'll both lead to the same point. So let's just show that. With alpha equals to 1, our first equation becomes xy equals to 0, 3, plus 1 times 1, negative 4. That leads us to 0, 3, plus 1, negative 4, which equals to 1, negative 1. So our point of intersection is the point with coordinates 1, negative 1. And just to show that we could have used t equals to negative 1 in the second line, we could do this, t is equal to negative 1, and using the second line equation, xy equals to 3, 1 minus 1 times 2, 2, leads us to 3, 1 minus 2, 2, which equals to 1, negative 1. So again, this confirms that the point of intersection is the point P with coordinates 1, negative 1. And that's how we find the point of intersection of two lines written in their vector form.